Just so y'all know that there's no cap in this, okay? Here we are, um, towards the end of the month, almost $4,000 in sales with a brand new store. What is good, everybody? It's your man, Mohammed Kamara. I'm back again. I know it's been a minute. It's been a minute, man, but I'm happy to be back. Um, real quick, I do want to announce the giveaway that I'm doing. Like I said, I always do a giveaway every single video. So if you want to be a part of the giveaways, make sure that you hit that subscribe button so you can have a good chance at entering. Because the first hour, whoever comments down below, hashtag Money Mafia will be entered in for a giveaway to you know join Econ Bootcamp absolutely free. Okay, I select one lucky person every single video where. Um, you'll enter a raffle, just comment down, whatever you want to comment, but just leave a hashtag Money Mafia. In this video, man, I want to show you guys some crazy things because um, what actually happened is, aside from my seven figure store, I wanted to start another dropshipping store to actually prove people, prove to people that dropshipping is alive and well, okay? Even in 2021, when I started dropshipping back in 2017, People were saying, yo, dropshipping is dead. 2018, dropshipping is dead. 2019, 2020. Every every year, there's always this group of people that say dropshipping is dead just because it didn't work for them. I said, you know what? Let me try to start a dropshipping store from scratch. Brand new store, brand new pixel, okay? Brand new data, everything. Brand new product. And let me see what I could do within like a week span. And um, lo and behold, let me just show y'all the results real quick. Just so y'all know that there's no cap in this, okay? Here we are um, towards the end of the month, almost $4,000 in sales with a brand new store. Okay, this is a brand new store. I don't know if the numbers are backwards, but that's four, um, 3.4K, okay? And we'll break down the numbers in a few moments, but I wanna show you how, if you are starting from scratch, I wanna show you how you could go ahead and strategically you know, start a dropshipping store absolutely from scratch to making, you know, $1,000 a week. You're not gonna become a millionaire overnight, okay? But you can start a very profitable business for chump change and you can make like $800 in profit in your first month. There's no other business model that's gonna do that, okay? You could go and invest in stocks, you could go in and invest in cryptocurrency, but that is, that is a lot more risky and you know, this one, if you do it strategically, how I'm about to break it down to you, you can actually guarantee some sort of success. You know, I'm not saying that you're gonna become a millionaire because that you're not gonna become a millionaire overnight. You're gonna have to build a business and, you know, probably get some mentors or whatever, but you could definitely start a profitable business with just chump change. So let me, let me break down to you how I actually started this off, okay? Very first step build a store, okay? I wanted to do this with as little money as possible because, um, yeah, I use some paid themes on my seven-figure store that does like over a million dollars a year, but I wanted to do this for the average individual. If you come in into drop shipping and you you don't really know where to start, you, you don't have that much experience with it, I wanted to, um, you know, start this for, for very cheap, okay? So we're using a free theme. Uh, I think the theme that we're using is let me double check. It was either venture or supply, but let me double check because I actually got the store open right here. It was the supply theme, okay? So supply is a free theme. Just go to Shopify theme store. You're gonna see supply as a theme, okay? Add that to your store. There's a very simple format that you can follow, but once you set up your store, you wanna go ahead and, and think of the product you wanna sell, cause that's gonna make everything a little bit more tangible for you, okay? So just giving y'all a little um, background information, in the beginning of this month, it's like the third week of June right now. Beginning of the month, I started um, you know, looking on my Facebook feed. I don't actually use Facebook, but it's great for product research. And if you wanna know more about my product research methods, go and check out this video right here. Um, that's a little bit of a secret method that I've used in the past, but I will make a video in the future about um, a, another product research method that you can use. It pretty much guarantees that the product is gonna be a winner. When you're looking for your product, make sure the product is something that you can sell for at least three times the cost, okay? So if it's something that costs $10, you wanna be able to sell that at least 
$30, okay? This is gonna be helpful for you in the future when you go to run your ads. You know, when you start scaling the product, it's gonna give you good profit margins. Another thing, make sure the product is lightweight. This is where a lot of y'all really mess up because y'all go and get this cool and attractive product. What happens is, you know, after a while, when you start selling the product, you realize that the shipping is cutting into your margins. Make sure it's something that's lightweight, okay? Ideally something under a pound, under one pound, that's gonna help you out, your margins. Once again, that's gonna lead to you bring, being more profitable. But what you wanna do is to find products like this, just go on your Facebook feed. You know, when you see products come up on your Facebook feed, add them to your cart and not just add them to the cart. Go and initiate checkout. What this will do is, It'll tell Facebook, okay, this is a person that likes to that likes seeing these products. So Facebook is gonna show you more products that are winners and more products that people are advertising. And guess what? If people are advertising the products, that's a likely winning product. And, and keep doing that. You, it'll probably take you about a few days before you really start seeing a product that you like and you vibe with. Another thing, I did not source these products from AliExpress. I sourced them from CJ Dropshipping. Y'all know how I feel about CJ. It's gonna be able, they're gonna give you more flexible um, shipping options. It's actually a little cheaper and they're going to be more reliable as far as getting the customers their products in a timely fashion. You don't have to wait 20 days, but you can get customers their products within a week. Um, I myself have been using CJ for about two years, so I went straight to them. I, didn't, I sourced the product straight from CJ. I didn't even bother doing AliExpress. And after that point, I'm like, all right, how am I gonna market this product for cheap? Because what happens if, if you're brand new with Facebook ads, Facebook is not gonna let you use the purchase conversion pixel. That's something that you're gonna need when it comes to scaling the product. And uh, what I did to kind of cheat around that system was I wanted to do an affiliate marketing offer. So I went and found some influencers on Instagram. This is a very Instagrammable product. Um, the ad for the product was not uh, a video, okay? I didn't do a video. You can, videos work, yes, but a lot of times the, if the product is cool enough and it has that wow factor and it's something that's unique and it's not something that you could find on like Amazon, for example, just by, you know, trying to search it up. It's going to be way easier to, to, for that product to sell itself. So just a simple single image. All I did was a single image product um, in the ad and I put that out there on Instagram and, um, you know, it got traction and it started getting results. The first couple of days I started doing like $100 a day, right? 50 to 100. And then the the second to third day, I started doing like $100 a day because I did an affiliate, uh, affiliate marketing offer where I found an influencer, micro influencer. She had about 23,000 followers, right? And I told her, okay, what, how much would it be to promote this product for seven days? And I spent around $750, I gave that to her for a seven day offer. She was gonna promote it on her story. She was gonna make one post, but she was gonna promote it on her story for seven days ongoing. And this, the idea behind this was, okay, this is gonna get some traffic to my site so that initially I can get a lot of data so that Facebook would be familiar, you know, with the type of people that's making conversions and I wouldn't have to waste time and money on Facebook ads without having the purchase conversion pixel enabled. Um, if a lot of what I'm saying right now is sounding like Chinese, you gotta catch up. You got homework to do. Go and watch my previous videos where I talk about Facebook ads. Okay, I love Facebook ads, but to start off from scratch is probably not the best idea right now. I'll get to that later because I did use Facebook ads Ads. But initially, to get that initial piece of data and those uh, that initial flow of customers coming in, I, I went ahead and I did an affiliate marketing offer with an Instagram influencer. Um, after about the first week, I had enough data um, that purchase conversion pixel was enabled, so I started running some Facebook ads. So again, single image I put up and you know started advertising the product. Um, I, I had about two different audiences that I was split testing in between and um, the product was, it started selling. I started doing about 200, it was like 200 to $300 a day. And I'm like, all right. So now I'm really planning to scale this product a little bit. I wanna make this like a case study just for YouTube. This is, again, this is aside from my seven figure store. 
But I want to show y'all that you can absolutely do this in a strategic manner. Again, if you are looking to start your Shopify store and actually make it a business and turn it into a brand, go ahead and join Ecom Bootcamp. I'll leave a link in the description below. But let's break down the numbers here. This is a, a screen. Well, this is my dashboard right here, live dashboard. Um, I'm just gonna re refresh it real quick so y'all know there's no funny going on. 3,200 in sales, okay? I'm trying not to reveal the actual product, but 3,200 in sales, okay? What I did was I spent $44 in retargeting. I spent $750 on that affiliate marketing that I did in the first um, week, okay? That first week is, as you can see right here, it wasn't, I didn't get crazy sales. I don't even think I profited from this affiliate marketing offer, but I was able to get enough data to fire up my pixel, to get my pixel going. That's a very, very important part of this whole dropshipping thing is having enough data. A lot of y'all lose because y'all don't know how to manipulate the data on Facebook. Influencer marketing is gonna be a great way to get the initial traffic into your site for dirt cheap. And then after that, you can start running Facebook ads. I spent $40 per day for two weeks, okay? And that came out to around $560, okay? I'll have to dive into my ads manager and actually see the raw numbers, but $560 on Facebook ads. And then I spent another um, $12.97 on the product and the shipping, okay? I think it was around $800 for the product and the shipping was another 400 and some change, okay? So those were the total costs. I spent another $30 just for the Shopify plan. I didn't have too many Shopify apps on the store, okay? I wanted to keep the store as bare as possible. And the thing is, if it made that much sales and the store is converting right now at around a 2.5% conversion rate, if it made that much sales off of a bear store, imagine when I start optimizing and I run those email marketing campaigns and um, I really start run, uh, scaling up those ads. That's a breakdown of it. I think the total profit towards the end was around $563 in profit, right? That's very impressive for the first three weeks of any business. In terms of dropshipping, imagine if you made an extra $563 this month, what would you do with that $500? Right, I know my answer, I would I reinvest that back into the business. That's a great business model. Again, in 2021, dropshipping is not dead. It's a very viable business option for the beginning entrepreneur, someone who doesn't have too much money to start and, uh, and build a business with, okay? Compared to spending $50,000 on a franchise business downstairs on the corner store, you know, you can go and start a dropshipping business for just chump change and you can start making profit in the first couple of months. Again, if you want a full step-by-step -step tutorial, I know I'm kind of rushing in this video because I can't sit here and explain every single detail to y'all in a YouTube video. It's just, I don't have that time. I would be here for like two, three hours just explaining that to you. Definitely check out my Econ Bootcamp. Got plenty of students results, students doing over six figures a month now, students doing um, $10,000 a month, you know, quitting their jobs, everything. Go and check out those testimonials. Join my free training, absolute free training, step-by-step -step I'm gonna show you. The link is down in the description or I'll comment it down in the, the comment area somewhere. But I'll catch you in the next video where I'll talk about, now actually address, you know, why I quit YouTube, why I, I went missing for about a year and some change, okay? A lot of big things have happened. Um, a lot of big changes. As you can see, I moved into a new apartment here overlooking New York City. There's a skyline right now overlooking uh, the great the jungle. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? As a kid coming from the hood, coming from the projects, now I live in a penthouse overlooking the projects in the, in the entire city. So, you know, life has been good. I want to... Um, I want to get back to to um, doing this YouTube thing with y'all, getting y'all, um, reaching y'all next level with y'all dropshipping stores. Okay, so comment down below, hashtag Money Mafia to enter the giveaway. I will be announcing the winner on Instagram. Okay, if you are not on Instagram, and when I go live, then you and I call you, you, you might get, you're just gonna miss it. Okay, I'm just gonna go on to the next person. You have to be on Instagram live. So make sure you give me a follow there, turn on the notifications so you know exactly when I go live. And um, hopefully you can get a chance to enter Econ Bootcamp 2.0 absolutely free. It's been getting great reviews, getting students crazy ass results. And um, 
probably the best drop shipping course there is on the internet. Like I said, it's a great time to be black. It's a great time to be drop shipping. Drop shipping is alive and well, even in 2021. And I'm gonna keep y'all updated on this store. We're gonna get this store to $1,000 a day. And I'm gonna teach y'all how to get it to actually six figures per year. And you know, actually making profit. Big difference between having a drop shipping store making sales and a drop shipping store that's actually branded and making profit, a business, okay? This is the difference between a store and a business. A store can make you money. A store can make you, you know, you can do all types of numbers with a store, but a business is gonna give you the lifestyle. It's gonna allow you to travel whenever you want. It's gonna allow you to buy the things that you actually want. It's gonna allow you to buy your mom a house, okay? Get you out the hood. Okay, so hit the subscribe button so you can stay updated on the store when I drop the next video. Again, comment down below, hashtag Money Mafia, enter the giveaway. I'm gonna give one lucky person access to Econ Bootcamp 2.0, absolutely free. And that's about it. It's your boy, Muhammad Kamara, man. I'm gone.